Hi guys, welcome to today's video. We're back in the Borodal Valley, parked up in a village called Stormthwaite, near the Castle Crag. And we're heading up to Black Pot Moss, also known as the Fairy Glen, where there's a series of waterfalls and pools that's supposed to be quite stunning. So we're heading up there and uh, we're going to wild camp the night. So we're really looking forward to this. You can see in the background there, the weather's looking absolutely stunning. But believe you me, it's a different kettle of fish for this morning. It was absolutely lashing down when I woke up um, and kept checking the weather. It said it was going to get out. So here we are, heading up to the Fairy Glen for a spot of wild camping. Right, I think we've got a bit of confusion going on here. When we looked at the pictures at Black Moss Pot on Google Maps, these were the pictures that come up. Uh, so I think somebody's put something in the wrong place there, but this is way too close to the campsite for us. Um, stunning nevertheless. Too, too rough to go swimming here anyways, that's for sure. So um, some nice little footage there for you. And we're going to head back up to uh, Black Pot Moss as we originally intended, which is a lot more out of the way.
No, I'm not at my age. I'll <laughs> break some of it. <laughs> right, that's us here at the Black Pot Moss. Um, that bit where we were earlier, where there was a little bit of waterfalls, that's what's known as a fairy glen from further upstream. And there is a bit where there's some more um, pools and um, waterfalls for swimming in. Um, there's too many people here at the moment. We have arrived a little bit early. It's just coming up 20 to 5 now. So um, I'll wait until they've gone mostly and then I'll show you around just before we set up camp. It's absolutely stunning this. Absolutely stunning. Owl's gone a bit off piste. And where is he? Owl's on top of that bit there. Yeah, I'm trying to find <laughs> some way across this river here. We don't get the feet wet. We don't do wet feet. <laughs> wet feet ain't good. Um, so yeah, where Owl is on top of that hill there. That's where we're looking at setting up a camp for the night. There's still a few people around. So like I say, later on, I'll have a bit wandered down to where they've been jumping in and swimming and sec. Um, and give you a little bit of a show around. Um, and then we'll get some scrub on the go. What a night there. Too many people turning up. I tried to uh, on top of that wee hill over there. Just too many people. Uh, so me and Al have just wandered downstream a wee bit. Is it all just from us a wee bit? Um, nice little river going past, not too noisy as you can hear. But I'll spin you around and I'll just show you where we are and then we'll get set up. So that's just looking up the valley a wee bit. As you can see, we've got a lovely little river, not too noisy, coming past us. We've got Kung Fu Panda over there, cooling himself down because he's been for a massive jaunt. And as you can see, if I can zoom in a wee bit, the zoom's not great on this. There we go, just too many people. So we've come up, just a wee bit upstream. And as you can see, here we've got a lovely flat area absolutely tranquil so i think we'll have a good night here so we'll get the tent set up
Oh, right, um, that's the setup for the evening. What time is it now? It's going up 25 to 8. Uh, still got a few people in the background over there. Um, so I'm going to show you that in the morning when it's nice and quiet. As you can see, we've got the nice bubbling river beside us. Not too noisy, so it's going to be nice falling asleep to that. Um, just getting ready for food time at the minute. So what I'll do is I'll spin you around and I'll show you both of our setups. So once again, I'm in the OEX Fox 2, on the OEX seat. Leviathan again, because believe it or not, it is July, but it gets, it gets a bit chilly in the morning with the Trichology UL80 mat and my Trichology pillar. And a few beers in the cool bag there, but the Wayfarer meals that I didn't use last time. So we've got steak and vegetables for tea and we've got an all-day breakfast for morning. I've never had these before and I thought it'd be worth giving them a try because um, we are planning on getting out and do uh, longer walks and I've got my OX solar cook set to make the teas and the coffees and boil up the boil in the bags meals. So we'll spin round. We've got Al over here. So Al, again, he's got his little OEX stool there and is in the gear top Libra for the first time. If you go down a few videos, you'll see me do a little review from the garden with that. Uh, quite a nice little tent with a novel way of setting up the uh, poles. Um, so what's your sleeping bag, Al? Van Gogh sleeping bag, Van Gogh pillow there, and you can see just through the mesh sheet there, plenty of room. And what have we got for tea, Al? Fried Southern fried chicken fillet and what he's done is um, as you can see he's got a little um, takeaway tray there and what he's done is he's, he's bought a disposable barbecue and split it up into three or four you can see there obviously we've got it off the ground so we don't leave any trace so um, yeah I'll make sure I do a video this time in the morning and a couple of people message me saying you haven't proved that you've left no trace so we'll definitely do that in the morning so all is good so we'll give it five and we'll get the food on but i'll just give you a look around there you go we've got one more tent but we've got that 100, 100 meters away from us so nice plane just coming over there look at that this is beautiful man let's give you a spin around the valley they are starting to lose light a wee bit but as you can see there Tops have just still got a bit of light there. right down the valley to where the people were jumping off and swimming before. Um, nice little breeze, lovely and cool. <laughs> we did have a bit of a sweat on before, to be fair. And we've got a lovely little waterfall there, and one there, and another one there. So this is absolutely fabulous, just in the middle of nowhere chilling out just what me and I'll need so there's a few minutes and um, we'll get the food on see what we think of the food <laughs> all right guys so winds picking up a wee bit now so I've got my windshield up OEX solar cook set and the Wayfarer steak and vegetables so I'll not uh, make you watch 10 minutes of boiling water so we'll get this boiled up and like I say, we are planning on getting out to do some longer hikes, so I wanted to try them. Um, obviously they make sense for long hikes and camps and sex, so I'll bring you back in 10 minutes and I'll let you know my impressions of the Wayfarer's steak and vegetables. Right guys, so here we go. Wayfarer's steak and vegetables in gravy. Using the Gerber complete system, just the spoon obviously. So. Like I say, first time I've ever tried any of these boiling the bag meals, so hopefully it'll uh, see us right for the night with a bit of luck. Hasn't torn exactly right there, but we're open. Looks a bit of a goo in there. Oh, the bag's a bit warm. You might want a pair of gloves on and give it a bit of a stir. Oh, she's warm. Wow.
tastes all right. If I'm being honest, I'd like to see it a bit thicker, a bit more of a brothy type consistency. She's a bit watery like, and there's not much meat I can see so far, but it tastes all right. It's warm. We'll do as a turn, I reckon. Yeah, there's not much meat in there. Mmm. But she's tasty enough. Ah, she's she's warm. Be careful with the hands, like, but not much meat in it. But it's warm and tasty, so it'll do a turn. Steak. Steak. steak and vegetables, mate, in a gravy. But see, it's a bit watery, yeah. I'd like to see it a bit thicker than that. Mm. But you know, have you actually done? Do you think you're at the very bottom? Not? I've time. stirred. I've stirred it about, like. Yeah. Mm. Mm. All's wee barbecue still going, so I'll get myself away and enjoy this, and I'll I'll bring you back when Al's got his chicken on. Right, I've just finished my wayfarer of steak and vegetables in gravy, and like I say, it's done me a turn, but I'm very disappointed with the amount of meat in there. What meat was in it was very just little bits, not like you would expect lumps of meat. If you know what I mean. Um, so like I say, it's done me a turn, it's got something warm inside us with a bit of energy. But I'd be very interested in you guys' opinions of these boiled in the bag meals. If there's any other makes out there, what you would recommend. Um, and yeah, yeah, please comment below. I'd be very interested in what you guys think and what, what you would recommend for me for when we're going out for longer hikes. So. Right, I'm going to grab a beer, and uh, I'll see you in a bit. So Al's uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken copy's looking rather good on his little makeshift mini barbecue. Like I say, off the ground, so we don't leave any trace that we've been here. You're looking forward to that, son? Right. We are losing the light a little bit now, so I'll give you a last look around and um, we're just going to have a bit of lads crack, another beer or so, and then uh, we're going to get our heads down, good night's sleep. But like I say, we'll be up early in the morning and away, and I'll show you uh, where the folk were swimming before. Look at them clouds, like, absolutely stunning. Wow. We've got that to listen to while we go to sleep. A lovely view down the valley. Stunning views all around. Just what the doctor ordered. Right guys, we shall see you in the morning. Sleep tight. Morning guys, right, it's about half past five, I was up at four o'clock for a little bit of a bathroom break there, Um got this 100 hours kit, so we just got the kettle on, I think we're going to bomb breakfast off, but I was hoping to be up and away a little bit earlier to be honest, um, I'm just going to have a wee cup of tea and get ourselves back to the car and uh, get a bit more footage for you at the Black Moss Pot on the way down.
right there we go guys so that's where I was there Al was over there that's where Al's had his little uh, makeshift barbecue thing so absolutely no marks whatsoever and we've got our rubbish bag to take back with us so without doubt we have left no trace It's not as wild as it was yesterday. We get a nice swim in there now. Nice and nice and quiet. Do a bit on side. Right guys, I was having to be a little bit quiet over the other side. Still a couple of campers pitched up. Um, so yeah, this is looking lovely for a swim. It's a, definitely a less um, t torrenty, <laughs> fast flowing, whatever, uh, than it was yesterday. Um, so yeah, it's very peaceful and tranquil this morning. It's got the sun starting to come up over the ridge there. Absolutely beautiful wee camp. Right guys, hope you've enjoyed the video. That's been the uh, Fairy Glen and the Black Pot Moss Wild Camp. Stay safe, much love. I'm a Cumbrian lad.